So I'm no scientist, but I am somebody who believes in the truth. And I try my best to find out interesting stuff that I think we deserve to know about. And what is more important at the moment than our safety, our security, our independence, and our ability to live in a free and unfettered life without being under surveillance all the time. And what's happened in the past week? Well, FISA, and then something quite interesting is happening at Lockheed Martin. Take a look. It's no secret that Lockheed Martin is one of the US government's biggest suppliers of weaponry, surveillance, advanced technology that we don't even know about. And that is why Ashton Forbes, myself and others are trying to bring it to your attention, particularly in the light of recent announcements about the use of electromagnetic, possibly scalar technology weapons. This short presentation will show you why you should be keeping an eye on exactly what's happening. These headlines that I'm showing you have all arisen in the last four or five days. Now, why is there suddenly an outburst of big military new technology arriving all at once? It's a bit of a strange one, isn't it? Well, I'm going to turn over to Ashton to explain. It says global persistent infrared surveillance. And when you watch this video, we found this on Lockheed Martin's website. Everything we found is publicly available. We haven't had to find any of this and, you know, had to steal this or anything from the government. They're scanning their earth the whole time, all the time. These satellites and the satellites that are also in low earth orbit have been integrated into the system as well. And these are the mid earth orbit satellites. The low earth orbit satellites don't even show up on this. You can see they're scanning and they're staring. So they have big wide scans and then they also have specific stairs as well on these satellites. So they're actually able to scan the whole earth all the time and then send this information, relay it to ground-based computer systems, which can then just pull back any surveillance they want. And if anyone gets mad at me for revealing this, well, F off. I don't give a shit. The United States government shouldn't have lied about what they did to MH370. Maybe we wouldn't have found out about all this stuff. But they did lie about it. And so then we had to go find out how the, all the satellite capabilities work. So here you go. Now the whole world gets to know. Yeah, we've got full, persistent global coverage in the entire planet. Look at this. So that that, sat, that satellite video is presumably this computer system that they're logged into. This is why it doesn't look like the satellite's moving. This is why the clouds don't look like they're moving very much because these satellites are super far away. They're not like right there, like on a on an airplane looking down. It's like a thousand kilometers away at, at best. Maybe if it's one of these, uh, these are geostationary satellites. These are 40,000 kilometers away. Clouds aren't even going to look like they move over a five second period. So this explains why we see that. And of course, my favorite part, Lockheed Martin, we never forget who we're looking, who we're working for. I like Ashton's slip of the tongue there. Never forget who we're working for. Actually, I've changed it. Let's never forget who we're looking for because that is the ultimate system that will keep an eye on everything. And it comes in 24 hours of the FISA, that is the FISA announcement from Congress. And for those of you who don't know, this is a major government surveillance program that gives the US authorities the ability to monitor vast swathes of emails, text messages, phone calls, all without a warrant. And in a vote on Friday, the lawmakers ultimately decided to keep the warrantless surveillance intact and passed a two-year reauthorization of the law, which is known as Section 702 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, hence FISA. We talked about the last few years being like George Orwell's 1984. Well, I think we're up against it, guys, because we're never going to get full disclosure. The advanced technology, weapons, whether it be electromagnetic, gravitational, scalar, whatever, we're not going to be told about those before they appear in the sky. But the funny thing is, they know everything about us. And until we know everything about them, we're living under tyranny, not democracy.